Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a crew here, I appreciate your subscribe. We're close to 100,000 subs. We're on the road to that. And that would not have been possible without each and every one of you. And there's no such thing as coincidences. So share this content by pressing the like button. Do it for the algo. That way I'll grow. And let's watch these clips. There's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. There's the Ordovician, the Devonian, the Permian, there's the Triassic, Jurassic, and then the KT extinction. Those first three, I swear to God, they sound like black dude names. I, is it me? Am I, am I, am I, is, did my racism kick in? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cause I, it was a so thought. No, no, seriously. It was dude, a thought. It was I'm a not, thought and I blurted it out. I'm I did fine. not mean it that I'm way. Not, I'm fine. Okay. But just not, understand, I didn't mean it the way it came let's, out. We'll take a poll on how you meant it. Balloon carrying, satellite, sat alone. Oh man, were they telling the truth about Roswell? It really was a weather balloon. And they was trying to cover it up and say, oh, it's alien. Look at all of the weirdness. I would hate to be in a relationship with a person like that. They lie to cover up the lie that they told so that you won't realize this whole other lie that they got going on. Talk about a toxic relationship. Yeah, that was dope. It looks surprisingly like this. Just tell me where the feet are at. These two things, they look very similar. Now what we know about bells and frequencies, are the bells creating a frequency that this thing can be seen? Or can this thing not even be seen because it's in a totally different dimension? Well, nigga, I don't know. This must be the motherfucking Barlam and Bainey Circus or something. Mm. Where's the Baileys at? Huh? Why these kids don't know how to cook for themselves at a young age? The black ones. Since y'all was in them damn comments. No, no, I'm on y'all ass. Y'all was in them comments cutting up bad. Now you tell me why your son don't know how to make his own breakfast, huh? Why your daughter in there asking, mama, 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 mama. That I man making his own fucking food. Nah, you got our people over there standing in the line for some damn rice, beans, and boom. I don't see no boom. I see Unk doing what he doing though. He doing what he doing by himself too. Daddy might be filming, but he got a daddy. Damn, his daddy teaching him something. Damn, and it, and what he making look good though. Let me get that fat ass biscuit. <laughs> well, Unk about to make a ooh. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. That's an omelet biscuit. A arm, a a a omelet, a a a a a omelet case of deer, a deal, a de omelet. It's funny cause he not lying. So for the women who was in my comments talking about, you sure do seem like you. Shut up, bitch. Your house looked like a pirate lived there. They have something in this in this in space on a satellite called the Rods from God. This is a satellite that I know of that exists. This satellite has 20 foot tungsten steel rods on it. This fucking nigga, I know it exists. This satellite has 20 foot tungsten steel rods on it. These tungsten steel rods have no warhead, but when it's positioned over any country or any city, it can be released to within a millimeter of the point where of impact and it'll decimate that entire region using kinetic energy. Oh, you want to know what happened to Lahaina? Oh, you want to know what happened in Chile? Oh, you want to know why these people in China are painting their roofs blue? Allegedly. Allegedly. Gotcha, bitch. 
how do you think they get these countries to fall in line with what they want them to do? Imagine you're a country and you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to be able to do whatever, whatever you want, and you know that this thing is hovering above you, and we say, listen, if you do it, we're going to drop one. Okay, we're, 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 we're not going to do it. We'll stand down. We'll stay third world. We won't rise up to second or first world. We'll stay back. We'll stand down. They give them a little bit of money. Give the leader a little bit of money. Maybe install a puppet dictator. You know that thing's over your head. And the Avatar Project, they have actual field robots and where a, a soldier is in a bunker somewhere, maybe even a thousand miles away, has a symbiotic consciousness link to the robot. The robot has AI plus its own link so it can make decisions and you can control it still. They have the craziest tech. Wow, what was it, one bike? Wow, get out, bitch. Goodness, super quick. Damn, that cat was like, bitch, I, I told you the, nigga, I told you the first bit. What if I said that every single cat you've ever seen is an alien? If you told me that, I would say, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Get ready for this. This idea says that all the cats we see are not biological creatures native to Earth, but advanced alien beings sent by societies from other galaxies to monitor us. Of course they are. They're armed with keen insight and psychic abilities capturing all they perceive. For example, ever puzzled why cats stare blankly at walls or space? They are signaling to their home planets, obviously. O obviously. Or ever marveled at how a cat moves so gracefully? Their amazing jumps and balance might not be just natural talent. It could be training for moving in space where there's no gravity. And what about the saying that they have nine lives? This theory suggests it's alien tech, a quantum stasis field enabling the survival of fatal events. But perhaps the most compelling evidence is when you see a cat's eyes eerily glow in the dark. Could this be more than good night vision, an alien technology in action? How about your experience? Have you ever noticed your cat displaying unexplainable behaviors? It's the 4D. What are the 4D? They dismiss you. It was perfected on women hundreds of years ago. Just dismiss you. Hey, you know what? I'm not getting a fair shake here. I'm just going to... They just dismiss you. Then they, uh, then you get a little upset about being dismissed. And you say, no, no, this is real. We have to really get this on track. Then they discredit you. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then you get really a little louder. A little bit more aggressive not in a, in a bad way but like we have to really deal with this then they move on to that third d and they have to move on to that third d to get to get right with their christian selves they demonize you mm. Mm. and then once they hit that third d and they demonize you they have a green light to go to that inevitable fourth d destroy you so it's dismiss discredit demonize destroy Listen, I've been over here in Africa eating like crazy, okay? I mean, rice. All, most of the dishes over here is full of rice. And bread and pasta. Okay, bread, pasta, everything, man. She, But here's the thing. Over a month. And I've been losing weight. <laughs> She's been losing weight. So I just want to say something ain't right, okay? In Africa... Right well, something right in Africa, but I mean, over on the other side, something ain't right. You know what's not right? There's this thing called, what is it, the Common Sense Consumption Act. These people basically saying, you should have common sense not to eat the food that they sell us. You can't sue any fast food place because we told you it's poison and you're going and eating the poison. I heard a guy say once all mountains are volcanoes. Boy, I hope not, because I live right next to a big mountain here on the West Coast. Hello. Yeah, I just moved in a couple days ago. Oh, you just moved in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Um, so... That's a red flag. This is private property. You can't just walk in here like that. That's for number one. I don't know if you heard, but there's been some recent issues with the packages being like stolen and stuff. So can I just see your ID real quick? You might be a part of the problem of the recent incidences of packages being stolen. Because you just know you can walk into my gate. That's for number two. Just to make sure that it's actually you. Oh, no, this I'm is on, mine. I'm, I'm on the HOA board. You can trust me. Don't worry. Uh, Very I proud. Do. Representative. Wait, what's your name? Oh, I don't have to tell you that. Number three, you don't have to tell me your name, but I have to tell you my name. 
Are you serious? Everybody keep talking about aliens, because, like, I remember the government then gave up. <laughs> I remember when the government was like, fuck it, let them, tell them. <laughs> tell them what they're going to do, fuck it. <laughs> so now all this alien information out. But here's the problem I got with aliens. They show the visits or the sightings, better yet. They show where the alien sightings are. What a lot of them happened. you have seen sightings in Montana, Wyoming, both Dakotas. <laughs> Not one in Atlanta. They never breeze by Brooklyn or nothing. They don't go by Compton. Nowhere where a lot of this face is, no alien sightings, bro. And that's like, come on. Y'all too? <laughs> Dead ass? Like, I could deal with Earth racism, but space racism? <laughs> In 1993, the late Reverend Calvin Butts III would unknowingly deliver one of the most iconic rap intros during his sermon. We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those thugs. Reverend Calvin Butts attempted to stop the spread of gangster rap in the early 1990s, deeming it misogynistic and violent. He even resorted to crushing rap CDs and tapes in front of his church. I don't think gangster rap was bad, only because there is that gangster element within the black community, within every community, within the world. I mean, let's be real. And protesting at the Sony Music headquarters. However, his actions drew criticism from some community members who viewed him as out of touch. Dude, this good stuff that goes on in these communities too. Like, yeah, it's creepy talk, but we can laugh at that stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, the government conspiracy. But look at his jeans though. <laughs> Damn, nigga. You taking over the world in those pants? <laughs> Jesus Christ, nigga. You need to be scared of the tailor, nigga. That's a conspiracy. Your boys conspired to have you come out the house looking like a fucking idiot, nigga. I'd have never wore that shit to the apocalypse. What the fuck is wrong with your boy? Okay, that was silly. But I damn sure would say that to an alien. You better come correct. That's all I'm saying, reptilians. If you come out the house looking fucked up, you're getting roasted in my neighborhood, nigga. So there's good in there, too. Butts clarified that he wasn't against rap music itself, but rather the negativity it often portrayed, which the rap group Bone Thugs and Harmony sampled in their single thuggish, ruggish bone. Sample Butt's next line, which was much harsher. Who disgrace our community, our women, who disgrace our culture, and who have absolutely nothing of redemptive value to offer. Now we know that these preachers are just a mouthpiece for the whatever you want to call these niggas, the reptilians, the aliens, the whatever you want to call them. They're just talking on behalf of them. Except the legacy of violence and sexual assault and foul language. <laughs> But sadly passed away of pancreatic cancer on October 28, 2022, at his home in Harlem at age 73. Did you know that rap music used to be all about love and poetry and lyricism and fighting injustice? I did know that. And then somewhere in 91, there was a secret deal made with the record labels to introduce gangster rap to the world. The goal was to glamorize criminal behavior, to turn people against each other, increase violence in certain areas, and then fill up private prisons for profit, making regular nice people want to act tough like their idols when their idols were required to act tough contractually. And it's not just rap music. We saw a similar hijack in R&B music. Brian McKnight and Boyz II Men, they used to sing about how much they love their girl and how they want to make it work and have kids. And now it's glamorized as The weekend. A sweet voice, but made to obliterate families, take hard drugs, cheat and disrespect your girl. We gotta be very careful who we look up to and what songs we allow in the house. Because all these pop stars have bosses and their bosses have bosses that have an agenda and it ain't our well-being. The music industry has very close ties with the private prison system. They were told not to sign any more political rappers, any more rappers that had messes in their no music. Positivity. It was all to be gangster rap music that they promoted and put out. Yo, I'm finna show y'all something that y'all never knew. It's about how when Cardi B went live and how she got mysteriously muted when she was talking heavy about America and Russia. Not mysteriously. We know what's going on. Yo, check this shit out. America and Russia don't get along with each other. They've been they've been competing with each other to see which one is the fucking greatest country 
since the Cold War. That's why America said that, that they was the first one to go to the moon, all of this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Russia don't like that. Why Russia don't like that? Well, Ukraine is very, is G Russia is really close to motherfucking Ukraine they're right next to each other like literally like fucking going from Jersey to New York um that would huh huh I'm just gonna mind my business because sometimes I feel like I have such a big platform that if I say the, if I don't say the right things I might get killed. If I don't say the right things I might get killed. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people. Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. But they didn't make you write those lyrics. It's not about making somebody write the lyrics. It's about being there as guardrails to make sure certain songs make it through and certain songs don't. Some records are made by committee, you, meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this. We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. We're gonna have that. You have, you know, the record company pushing the narrative. It sounds a lot like the construction of what we call the modern day Bible. Jesus came with something that's called the Injil. Or so I've heard. I don't know. Allegedly. Was the Bible. It's not even a was at this point. They're, they're telling us. It's like the CIA with their declassified documents. Now that everybody's dead. Oh, yep. Yeah, crack. Yeah, we put that into the inner city. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody died. Oh, well. And they did the same thing with the. Oh, no, we voted on that. We voted to take that part out. What was Jesus doing from 12 to 25? Oh, mm, we don't know what happened. You got to just have your own opinion about the way she's wearing verbal blackface. Black, oh, by the way, this guy is considered, he considers himself black. They're considered black in Australia for my black audience who didn't know that. Shout out to my international audience. My international audience is getting way bigger than my American audience. I think that's because I've got an international soul. I was just born in the States. But anyway, that's for you guys. My international audience knew that already. They've been saying it about this weird bitch since they first sing. Maybe because it's not pushed. Maybe because you didn't really think about it or... Maybe because it's not advertised, and rightly so, because it would ruin economies. It would stop all the global markets and all this bullshit. Black Americans, specifically inner city black Americans, created hip-hop music, okay? Rap was created through slavery and the civil rights movement and the black power movement. People rapped about just their struggle through that and trying to get past all of that trauma and Hey, let me rap about it, tell you what it is. Hey, the white man used to take all my kids and, you know, <laughs> and it evolved. And the rest of the world was like, yo, that's dope. So I'm saying this to say Australian rap don't rock nowhere except for Australia. Chinese rap is not popping nowhere but in China. American rap is everywhere. Don't think Eminem is just popping because it's Eminem. It's rap. I'm not saying I agree with it. I think Iggy Azalea is corny. Not because she's Australian or white. I think she got a fatty. That's juicy. You could be a stripper. I would throw some, some dollars at you. But just don't rap, bitch. Because you're doing an impression. Because you know that Australian shit is trash. I'm not saying Australians are Australians are lit. Have you seen some of these aboriginals? Nigga. Whew. Come to America looking like that shit. You'll take over the country. Kim Kardashian, pfft, that bitch is an ugly bitch compared to some of these aboriginal women. But rap-wise, you gotta chill, Iggy. The world don't want to hear an Australian rapper. Leave it in the comments. I know you mad, but you explain this bitch. All right, what did you just witness? I heard something run across the top of the house. Then... Look, it moved again. <laughs> See? I told you, look at it. Split again. I'm not playing. I told oh. you what I hear every day. All what did you? Oh, the cats ran toward it and started staring. Something peeked through. Right there, where it's open. I see this shit every day. What if this nigga is gaslighting this girl? I see it. It's an alien. That's don't do that, nigga.
Just get a divorce, nigga. Why you fucking... This lady is losing her fucking mind. That's so foul. What an asshole. <laughs> I'm not saying he's doing that, but that's just the way it sounds. It sounds like she's scared to death, and he's like, I told you. That's why I'm sleeping with Lurlene. The demons made me do it. Scaring this lady. What a fucking dick. Hun, you just seen what I see every day. Get the fuck. He don't even see shit. See, that's why I have to go to Lurleen's house. This house is haunted. Lurleen's house, as well as her bed, there's no ghosts. What do you expect me to do? I told you your mother. It, it's probably your mother. Your mother doesn't like me. She's haunting us. It's no joke. I promise it's no joke. Have or have I not told you I see shit all day? It is the craziest shit I've ever seen. It opened that and looked at us, didn't it? It was crazy what we just seen. So do a front flip, mommy. Why did he say that? Come ew, on, we're do a front flip. You said mommy. Do not call me mommy. That why? Why you don't? Why? It's embarrassing. People are gonna think we're into weird stuff. <laughs> we like what? Leave it in the comments and tell me, women. Why don't y'all like that? For real. Oh my goodness. It's steak, mommy. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't do that. Is it an older thing because you're hitting your wall? But your husband, he's with you. He's not trying to leave. I don't, tell, tell me. You have any need tonight, mommy? Sorry. What? Oh, look at this roast, mommy. <laughs> hey, put this wine in your basket, mommy. Stop calling me mommy. Hagen Dazs is on sale, mommy. <laughs> Call mommy, me mommy. get some Hagen Dazs. Call me mommy, one more time. <laughs> what else do you need me to go get, mommy? Never. I'll see mommy again. Do you want me to go grab the chicken breast, mommy? <laughs> so, so it's not because of the woman is old, because she's younger, attractive woman. It's not because. So I don't. Okay. It's like you. Stop calling me that. Are you getting a pound, mommy? Let's go, mommy. Come on. You will not yell at me. That's right. You use your inside voice. <laughs> to me, the creepy part is nobody told her, hey, babies are smart. I don't know who, why you, I never talk to, I don't even talk to your baby like that. I mean, I ain't talking to your baby like a sailor. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm not doing that. But I mean, I'll talk to it like I'm talking to you. Babies are very smart. You were a baby once. Bless is be less. Be less you. When something is really good, we say that is sick. Another word for good is wicked. That's wicked. The English language is full of hidden spells. This is why we call it spelling. Because every word you say is creating torus fields, which is energy and frequency. Frequency is the only thing that can penetrate your body without your consent. You can choose what you put into your body, but you cannot choose what you hear. Every frequency you listen to and produce has an effect on your cells and electromagnetic field. And when this field becomes destroyed, your body becomes destroyed. Because energy and frequency comes before physical matter. It is the creator of physical matter. English is the most spoken language in the world. They want everyone to speak it because it's filled with double meaning words which cast hidden spells. Mourning is the feeling you feel when someone has died. Why do you think the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue? That's all I got for you today. Come back again. We'll do it again. Y'all know how I do it, all right?